What's up everybody, it's Garrett again from Reaper66 and this is my second tactical video um, on my woods ball gear. So this was my original like probably $5, $10 Gen X Global paintball mask. Um, I've heard both that it does really well and it does terribly um, for paintball. So it's definitely a beginner's mask. Um, it's more of a universal fit in the fact that it, it I don't know. It's uh, it just didn't fit my head very well. It's, it's the best way I, I can ex describe it. I mean, I have used it. It did what it was supposed to do. Took a paintball right about here, and you know, it didn't shatter the lens. However, it was a pain in the butt to clean out the paint from under here and from under these grooves. So, um, something to always to remember that you do have to clean that out. Otherwise, it's gonna start messing with the coating on your lens so I uh, just recently upgraded to an Empire um, helix mask right here in the olive instead of black it does come in olive or black um, I have even yet to take off the sticker but it's thermal coated and it's fog resistant and it also has a dual pane lens so the thermal coated makes it better at fog resistancy however I mean, it's still gonna fog. It's unfortunately not a no fog um, lens. I just didn't have a hundred bucks to drop on a a mask. So, um, of course, you know the visor does come off. All that spiel. Um, it's pretty flexible, durable. It's not a hard plastic. Also, the interior is a lot nicer. The foam padding here is definitely more cushiony, softer, flexes to your face a little better. Um, it can bend a little and give a little more than the Gen X Global Mask could. Another thing that, you know, maybe this is dorky to you guys, but this chin strap here, um, I, I guess unless my face is really, really narrow or my chin is long, those masks, especially being that this one's really, really wide, tends to slide up and down on my head no matter how tight I make this back strap. So with this one, um, not only does it have the rubber ring here to help grip my hair better, but this chin strap helps secure the sides of the mask onto my face. So when I'm running, when I'm jumping, doing anything crazy, it doesn't have any movement issues. So um, definitely nicer coverage here. If I can compare both of these side by side, this has nicer coverage over the ears, whereas this one did not. It was kind of just plastic and these holes would basically be where your ears are. Um, also if you can see here this doesn't have much for peripheral vision where that one certainly does. It is lacking though in the front though if you notice the lens size. Um, this one I know they're, they look pretty similar but this one's actually taller so um, you get more of a, a wider view or I guess a vertical view here versus this one you get a wider view. So ups and downs. Another thing is there's no grooves here like in this one. Like this is just a big gap or groove. This just goes straight down so cleaning this is extremely easy. Um, again the olive would just help to better blend into the the woodland and anything like that. So um, again that's my paintball mask that I use. It's a great mask. It's about 35 bucks so very very inexpensive for you beginner users. Fitment is great. Um, styling looks pretty cool I think. Um, again when you're wearing this you can't see through this. It's going to be black so it kind of looks like an alien. Um, see if I can give you a better view. Uh, not really but anyway so it's, it's a nice mask. Fitment is great. It's inexpensive so definitely something I'd recommend. Empire Helix Mask. So please check out my other videos.